I think we saw a lot of improvements on these generative modeling sites, mostly around how to scale efficiently. These diffusion models transform noise to image and they do this along a trajectory. They start with pure noise and gradually denoise more and more. We can imagine it as in discrete steps. And since we put out stable diffusion, there has been a lot of research going on uh, about identifying which parts of this trajectory from noise to data are more important than others. And it actually turns out that for images, the parts that are closer to the noise are actually carrying much more of the semantics of the scene and of the details of the scene, low frequency details. And these are very important perceptually, whereas the parts closer to the real data are less important. And there's been a lot of research going into identifying where exactly to put more emphasis on that trajectory from noise to data. This is one thing, and then obviously making the models larger is another thing. Combining these two tells you how to scale efficiently, and I think that's what we particularly have been doing a lot of research on.